Send a message, there's two minutes to go. He kicks it inside the 50. McGovern! Splendid grab. Lands and goes. Got a chance there, Arm down the wing. Vardy presents. The Eagles looking for the go-ahead goal. Vardy sets it up to Harford. Ryan! Ryan! He brings it down. What a grab. Right half forward. He wants to go. Ryan sets it into the pocket. Two on one. The Eagles are the numbers. She marks. Did he play on? from here, Dom Sheed. Two points down. Dom Sheed outside the boundary, right forward pocket. Can he do it? I said to the players a couple of times, there's no fairy tale with us. Making the most of an opportunity um, in every season is what it's all about. Our destiny is around the room. It's the respect you have for each other. It's the way you treat each other. It's your families. The start for us is crucial. We're not waiting for the game to come to us. We're taking the game to them. As the opening siren rings out around the MCG, West Coast and Collingwood for supremacy in 2018. Feeds it back to Travis Marco. Holds it breath for Maggie. Stevenson's left foot kick. He's coming back. Tried to kick to Dago, he was touched on the way through. Dago, he shoots one tell, rushed away the second, and kicked the goal! Look out! The pies are white hot! Boys, we're in a bit of strife here, but we don't concede another one. Quickly becoming West Coast, worst possible nightmare. When they first got a run, I thought, this is 15 all over again, I'll be honest. Gov got a significant injury in the start of the prelim against Melbourne the week leading into the grand final. We were told very early there's a strong possibility he won't play. Oh. Gavin sucks in the big ones behind play. He's going to come off, I reckon. It felt like I was snapping you back into. Your initial thoughts, no, I'm not playing it. I'm not going to make it. He couldn't jog. There's a bit of internal bleeding, car accident type of stuff. When he wasn't running by Wednesday, Thursday before the grand final, that's when the boys started thinking, I'm not sure how this is going to go. A lot of guys are starting to get a bit nervous because you sort of need Jeremy McGovern to be to be playing for you on grand final day. How's the hip? Uh, yeah, hip's fine. How's no, how's the hip? Yeah, no, hip's sweet. <laughs> how's that hip, mate? <laughs> yeah, nah, sweet. No issues. So, you know, bugger off now. That was my biggest issue when it got closer and I thought, oh, I'm a chance here. It's, you know, are you a chance or are you being selfish? Are you thinking about team? You know, I could have run out there and Cost us the game. And the siren sounds to end the opening term. 5 1 31 plays 2 2 14. So the second quarter commences. Setting up Maynard. Top one right in the guts from Ryan. He's down Maynard. I do feel like after conceding the first five, the Eagles are coming back into the game. Surely, talk about coming back into it. 2011 was my debut year. I obviously got drafted to Geelong. Seven years there, and I reckon I missed probably four of those years with injuries. The first injury I got was last week of the home and away season in 2011, right on the Eve of Finals, and they went on to win the Premiership. So that was obviously pretty hard to handle. Being so young, I probably took it for granted. I thought, oh, I'll win one next year. A year and a half later, maybe, did my knee. What was happening at Geelong wasn't working. He's had a lot of injuries, obviously, at Geelong, and then gets an opportunity over here, and he's still third in line. Boys are sitting pretty at the top of the ladder, and it starts to sneak into your mind that maybe I might miss one here as well. From the West Coast Eagles room, Nick Natanui is out of the game. Serious concerns surrounding his injured left knee. I just think this is a disaster for the West Coast Eagles right now, if it is to be a long-term injury. I was on the bench when he yeah, when he came. I couldn't even look at him, yeah. Doc said, hey, what is it? And he said, I've just felt a pop. And I'm going, oh, no, far out. Let's, I can't do this, can't deal with this right now. This one's affected you, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, I'm not very good at this stuff, <laughs> dealing with it. Um, but I think you've got to show your emotion at footy club. I mean, that's what we're all about. And we're here to support him and, you know, support the players around him. You know, when Simo comes out and says, oh, look, it's, it's blunt, these things happen, it's footy boys, Nick's done his knee, he's out. And, go, and point straight to the bars, you're in. And, you know, the boys give me a cheer. And I think that was probably the hardest thing. I'm getting an opportunity to play again on the back of someone's misfortune. And the Pies get to half-time with a 12-point lead intact. 
We've kicked four out of the last five goals, boys. You know that? All right. So you feel the game is starting to turn. We are forcing them to play outside of the game style that they want, and it's just going to be a matter of doing it for longer. But we are so close to going over the top. It might take to the last five minutes like last time. Stevic puts down a beautiful bounce. Will it begin this third turn? Important five minutes, yeah. It'd be nice to win a contest. McGovern went early to Gully, he was at the back. Can Varco get it to the Gully? Not quite. Adams does so well. What a goal in footy. 100,000 people watching you. First grand final, first game at MCG. I was just scared about everything. Grew up playing football up in Jelton. Always was by my dad's side. Wanted to play like him when I was growing up. Hot spot. Oh, big fly back. Take it. Over the top. Ryan. He's just such a natural raw footballer. I watched the game. He kicked six or seven goals and he sat on three blokes' heads. And it's like, wow, how good is this bloke? And then when we see that we've drafted him, it's like, it's going to be pretty special. It was his first ever game at the MCG. In the third quarter, he had a moment he probably wanted to forget. Dug it inside 50 to Liam. Oh, boy! He's left that one. He should have gobbled it up. I don't know what happened. I just kind of pulled out a little bit. You, you kind of think, oh, no, is he going to bounce back from this? Is he going to be able to play the footy he's capable of playing? It is all square. What a last quarter coming up. Three-quarter time, Louis came up to me. He just said, one more quarter I want from you and just show us some magic. How tense will this be? Scores are level. It is all to play for. Boys, bring it in. Let's go, boys. And I'm so proud of you, boys, and I trust in every one of you. Come in, come in, boys. Oh. Here comes down to this, and all I can think of is head, heart, and gut. Let's on get on this boys. done, boys. Let's go. Here. The scoreboard will look after itself. Take the game on. Play your role. Trust and be aggressive with what we do in everything. It's up to you, boys. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Start of the final term of the MCG. Scores 11. To Goey. Lord, just from 50. Tony would have got a two-goal lead. To full forward. Oh, Barty. He's coming to the team and he's done a mighty job. Can he kick the goal? It's holding the line. He does. Back to one kick. 2018, that was probably my most difficult season. I wasn't playing as well as the other midfielders and found myself in and out of the team throughout the year. We had good availability with our midfield and Dom was the one who missed out. And Dom Shee finding that even stepping back into the WAFL is not a walk through the park. You definitely do start questioning yourself whether you're up to AFL standard or not. You know, I thought I'd never get back in. Ended up getting my opportunity through unfortunate circumstances of Gaffey going out of the team. The Gaff situation would just come completely out of the blue for everyone. I was in a bit of shock because it was Gaffey, one of the nicest guys you'd play against. The week Coast Eagles is on the back page on the Monday. So in WA, it went into a level which I hadn't seen before. I'll tell you what, it, it galvanised our group and our club, and in particular our players. Five minutes remaining, two points of difference. Next goal wins the game. This is the most unbelievable grand final. The Eagles need a miracle. Coaches were banging on about who should be on the ground. It was get Dom Sheet off and get Liam Ryan off. So I wasn't meant to be on the field at the time. I forgot about my name getting called off to go to the bench. I was oblivious that they didn't come off. And then we look up and there's two minutes to go. And I thought we were out of time. Gonna go long and wide. He needs a chop out mark. Grundy doesn't quite get it. Oscar Elliott provided the contest. Talor provides the run. Praddy, my backline coach, I remember him telling me keep my feet. If you get the opportunity, go quick. McGovern! Splendid grab! I knew I was within a kick. Lands and goes. Got a chance there, arm down the wing. Vardy presents. Yeah, what was going through my head once I got it was we just have to go quick. Vardy sets it up to half order. I just thought I'd fly for it. I marked it. I don't know how, but yeah. Dommy Sheed's stepped out of the crowd and taken one by himself in the, in, the, uh, in the pocket. Ryan sets it into the pocket. Two on one. The Eagles are the numbers. Sheed marks. Did he play on? The player says no. Go back and take your shot. 
when he was going back for the drop punt, I was like, what are you doing, mate? You've got to snap it from there. The whole MCG went dead quiet, apart from the Pies fans over my right shoulder. Most important kick of his life. We kick this, Longy. Is he a good kick? Sheed from the boundary. Needs to be in perfect the years. He's got the most impossible goal. Silent sounds. The Eagles overcome every obstacle. They hit the front right at the dead. And West Coast celebrate. An extraordinary win. Thanks, buddy. It wasn't what we wanted, was it? <laughs> Guess what? We're all alive and we're healthy and OK? Yeah. There's a little bit of beauty about footy. It's just you just never know. Yeah, it comes down to moments. It's not necessarily the most talented bloke. It's just a moment where you either get it right or you don't. I just wish we could go back and play again. Moments like that, you yeah, treasure them. It was the best day of my life. I don't know what the odds were on that last play. We wanted Dom off the ground. We wanted Liam Ryan off the ground. Gov was just walking. That's just the beauty of the game. That's just the way our game works. Dom Sheed, country kid, Kalgoorlie, probably wouldn't be playing if Gaffey was in the side. He's going to be remembered kicking one of the greatest goals of all time. And every club has the ability to hit a sweet spot and get a bit of belief. More than ever, every club, there's a chance.